Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another amazing video. We're gonna be checking out what's the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you, part two. If you guys are watching this, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? I've said a lot of dumb things myself. I'm American, I still say dumb things. We're gonna be watching this from start to finish, talking about all this, breaking it down, all that fun jazz. Let's not waste any time, let's go. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Oh, by the way, you guys are probably wondering why I have a German flag behind me. I do a lot of European content on my channel specifically German content. So I am Italian and I go to college in the US. I was on a phone call with my advisor to schedule my classes for spring semester, okay? So at some point he goes like, wait, you're Italian. I love Paris. I've been there a few years ago. So your professor, your professor said, wait, you're Italian. I love Paris. I've been there a few years ago. And I and I told him, yeah, I love Paris too. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful place. I've been there a few years ago too. And he goes like, I also took some French classes in high school too. And I was like, that guy's off the deep end. Yeah, French. Yeah, I know French because I studied it at school. And he goes like, wait, you studied it at school? Bro, bro, she's talking. She was talking to a total numbskull, man. And I was like, yeah. I studied it because in Italy, we don't speak French and Paris isn't in Italy. So yeah, that's it. In Italy, we speak Italian. Yeah, that should be kind of obvious. <laughs> the capital of Italy is Rome. And he goes like, oh my God, how could I forget? Man. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Uh, uh. Excuse me, why do you speak Spanish? Well, a lot of my friends speak Spanish, so I decided to teach myself. It's not hard. See, that's good. People here almost bash you for knowing a second language because they always think you're talking shit about them. That's like, it's the most self-centered, narcissistic thing. Like, oh my God, like, you know, he's speaking Spanish. He's probably talking shit about us. I'm like, dude, no one cares about you. Get the hell out of here, man. You don't look Mexican. Bruh. I'm not, I'm black. Wait, so you're black and you speak Spanish and your English seems okay. Bro, oh my god, this is literally what I'm talking about. Yes, black people can learn other languages. I mean, like, I guess, but, like, it doesn't make sense that you speak Spanish if you're not Mexican. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Mm. Alright, so I had an American girl message me on Instagram the other day expressing how she's keen for marriage and whatnot. I wasn't interested for multiple reasons, so I thought the easiest and nicest way to let her down would be to state the obvious fact that we're from different countries. So I told her, you're from America, I'm from Australia, it's probably not going to work. And she had the audacity, the audacity to say, it's okay, I can sponsor you. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, man. <laughs> Sponsor, bitch, what? Do they not teach Americans that there's other countries in the world where people are living happily? Literally, literally, bro. She was acting like she was saving him from his country, bro. Australia's lit, bro. What the all fuck? of us are tasting that American dream. Also, Australia's currency is worth more than America's currency. Our kangaroos in Australia are more civilized than your people, and our spiders are nicer than your people. Why would I want to move to America? Sponsor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Damn. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? So I'm traveling in Australia. I'm in a hostel in Brisbane, and this is an American couple. I ask them where they're from, they tell me they're from Alabama. I'm like, oh. oh, nah, bruh. Listen, I already know where this is going. The second she said that couple's from Alabama, they were they were destined to say some ignorant shit. Look. Oh my God, that's amazing. I've never been to America. Because Alabama historically is known for people, like a high percentage of people that say dumb shit. I'm, 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 I hate to say it. I don't hate to say it. That's just the facts, man. Like, if you're here in America, you know, man. And they're like, oh, really? But America's so close to Jamaica. And I'm thinking, what? And I say, oh, well, I'm not from Jamaica. Oh, sure you are. You sound Jamaican. Bro. To me. And I was like, well, I'm actually from Wales. And the girl looks at me. Nah, bro. You shouldn't have said that shit. They're like, you're from a whale? A whale? That don't make no damn sense. Whale make whale babies. They don't make people. And she starts giving me a glare. I'm like, Oh God, what have I said? Like, have I offended them in some way? Because I bet you they didn't even know what the fuck whales was. They, they probably thought whales were like the animals. They're like, oh yeah, whale! And they're like, you can't say you're from a fake country. That is so offensive. I can't believe, she oh my God. Whales is a real country. No, it's not. It's an animal. 
bro. I don't know it's a real country. What? What do? You, who do you think Charles is? You know, Queen of Elizabeth's son. He's Prince of Wales. Oh yeah, he's Prince of the Animals. Everybody knows that he owns all the whales in the world. I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest bro. thing an American has ever said to you? Uh, there was a Haitian kid in my class, and they said, "Hey, Biko, you're from Kenya. They're from Haiti. So y'all both from Africa, right?" Bro. Someone said I don't count as African American because my family is from Africa and I was born in America. I had someone legitimately tell me if they didn't want to be slaves, why didn't they fight back? Oh my god, bro, that 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 shit right there. That's some shit that like a lot of people like, and especially in southern states, always say. But once people found out that the darker the color, the more heat it absorbs, it was pretty much over for me every summer because someone was gonna come out call out the fact that oh you're really dark, so you must be really hot right now. Mm. Uh, people ask me if I speak African. Oh my god, a lot. No matter what the athletic accolade I get, someone is going to say it's because I'm black. Literally, I get that all the time. They're like, oh, yeah. well, you're black. So, I mean, you're obviously going to be like super strong and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, I worked for this. No, seriously. They're just going to be like, oh, you're dark skin. Of course, you're the fastest on the team. Okay. Stupidity is in no way a specifically American trait. But when Americans do it, damn, they do it well. <laughs> I'm curious, what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? I once flew from London to Houston and when I got to the border the TSA agent took my British passport, my um, return ticket to London and then proceeded to ask me where did I learn how to speak English? Mike, can you come here really quick and ask it again? <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> When I kind of said England, she said, oh, you guys speak English out there too? How do you think it made it to America? You fool! I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing? I, I bet you guys are hoping and praying that that was sarcasm. It was not. American has ever said to you. I live in, uh, in Arizona. Arizona is nice, man. I graduated high school here. The education system in Arizona is trash absolute dog shit i'm not gonna lie one of my one of my first uh, first days in high school this this girl sat next to me in, in english class she was like oh where are you from and then i tell her i'm from denmark and she's like oh isn't that in chicago <laughs> curious what is the dumbest thing an american has ever said to you Oh my god, I can make a lot of these because I studied in the US as a non-American for like a year So I've heard a lot of crazy shit, but here's one of them So I was with a group of Americans and we were discussing whether or not we had seen a celebrity in public yet Because we were in New York and sometimes in New York you can just see like Zendaya walking around the street And I had just gotten there so I had not seen a celebrity yet So I was telling them how in Prague you, that doesn't happen But then I told them that I had seen a famous Czech YouTuber walking around my neighborhood once and this girl, this girl was like, wait, Czech YouTuber? I don't get it. And I was like, what, what do you not get? And she was like, does he make videos in Czech? And I was like, yeah. And she was like, how does he do that? YouTube is in English. And I was like, no. Bruh, th that's another thing. People think that YouTube is only, like, if, at least here, like, they think people, like, like, YouTube is only exclusively in English and that other countries that have YouTube, it's only in English. I'm like, bruh, like, it, it's literally catered to the country. So, like, if you're in Germany and stuff like that, you open up your YouTube, chances are it's going to be in German. If you're in Korea, when I was in Korea and I opened up YouTube, it was in Korea. What's what and she was like yeah like the videos in youtube are english because youtube is in english hello it's for english speakers and i was like Fuck. i had to explain to this girl that most of youtube is not in english and yeah that like the whole world uses youtube in their own language yep and she was still confused i'm kind of curious what is the dumbest thing an american has ever said to you mm. when i was a senior in high school i was a teacher assistant for one of the u.s history classes and let me tell you some interesting things were said by those students. My favorite being this. We were discussing whether or not Puerto Rico should become an actual state and not just a territory of the United States. We're having a perfectly good conversation until this one girl raises her hand. And her question, her question was, but if we make Puerto Rico a state, where would we put it? You think that was sarcasm? Be honest, do you think that was sarcasm or do you think that question was genuinely ignorant? And then she kind of takes a moment and goes, oh, and we're like, thank God, like she, she figured it out. No, her response was, 
We could just put it where Rhode Island is. No one cares about Rhode Island. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think every, most Americans think, and I'm saying this like as an American, think that like we're like the kings of the world, like kings and queens of the world. Like everybody bows to us, you know? I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? Like, how do you move a whole country physically from one location and slap it on Rhode Island? I don't get it, man. So I'm Mexican and I was working in Tulum. One day I was talking with this girl and she said to me, I really wanted to visit Mexico in Cinco de Mayo to see your Independence Day. Sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, Cinco de Mayo, your Independence Day? Oh, um, actually our Independence Day is on September 16. Don't lie to me, I know South American history and I know that Mexico Independence Day, it's on Cinco de Mayo. I'm like, this is where I'm exiting the chat, because, uh, what did you say? Uh, well, actually, no, uh, Mexico's North America, <laughs> and you you can Google that, actually, it, you can see that Mexico's Independence Day is on September 16. Oh my god, you have Google? Bruh, 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 chill, bruh, 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 this can't be, oh, but th this is real, this is real. Yes, why? I mean, I'm really surprised that you can speak English and use Google. Welcome to the rest of the world. Now that you've left your bubble. <laughs> Game Revenge, honestly, America is first on three things. One, gowns owned per capita, adults who believe in angels, military defense budget, four, obesity rate. <laughs> I'm kind of curious, what is the dumbest thing? Oh, you said guns owned per capita. Yeah, you're right. Imagine people who ask these questions being gun owners. I know you guys might be like, I don't see the correlation. No, no, no. Hear me out. Imagine people who are asking these questions being gun owners. If they're not educating themselves on something like that, that's super simple. What makes you think they're going to educate themselves on how to use a gun the right way? And yet most people in America got them. They got glizzies, man. Oh, man. Thing an American has ever said to you. Oh, I was made for this. Okay. So when I first moved here, I was in sixth grade and I was getting enrolled to this middle school and I was meeting up with the assistant principal. And basically, uh, she asked me from, from where I was from and I'm like, oh, I'm from Colombia, like I just moved here. And then she's like, oh my God, really? So do y'all live in, in trees and eat alligators for breakfast? I would have been like, mom, we need to get, get me a new school. Get me a new school. Like right now, get me a new fucking school. I can't be here. I can't. Do you hear this? Do you hear this? this are you sick? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. If the assistant principal's asking me this damn question, what do you think the teachers are going to be asking me? What do you think they're going to be teaching? What do you think that school is going to be teaching if that is literally like, boom, one of the head honchos? Yo, thank you so much for the prime. Toxin, I appreciate that. Yo, what? I would have been like, get me the hell up out of here, man. I'm not wasting my time at this dumbass school. German Chocolata's mom. I always run into Americans trying to teach me about German history, politics, social programs. They don't care that I know since I was born and grew up there that I'm a German citizen. And if you're wondering, no, they didn't have their facts right. Trying to tell them the correct facts fell on deaf ears, and they got pretty hostile, to say the least, to the point where I was told to return to Germany if it's so nice. There. Oh, my gosh. People do that. Oh, my. Oh. That's why I always tell you guys whenever like I'm making videos, I do not know everything there is to know about Germany. I don't even know like point zero 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 one percent of anything there is to know about Germany. My German's gotten worse. Like the, the stuff that I know is is very minimal. Right. So. Uh, I, you know, want you guys to know that I will never, ever claim to know more than the people living there or even more than people claim that they know even here. You know what I mean? I want to learn more, obviously, and I'm trying to learn as much as I can, but just because I'm learning and, and stuff like that doesn't mean that I can't learn even more. You know, people here, I feel like think they know everything, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Last time I remember, I was living in a very nice house, eating pan de bono with some chocolisto. But that's that's fine. I'm kind of curious. Oh my what is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? 
So I was an exchange student in the U.S. and I would randomly get asked by questions. And then one time I said I was Asian because Philippines is in Southeast Asia. And then they literally said, Philippines is in Asia? I thought it was in Europe. How did they think the Philippines was in Europe? How? How, Sway? Well, Kurion, thank you so much for the prime. I really appreciate that, bro. Jesus. Girl. And then one time I was in the bus, I got asked, Do you have school? Do you have farm animals in the Philippines? Do you know what an iPhone is? Damn, bruh. Where would you think of a, some sort of a different planet? Like, this is why you need to go to school? Literally, bro. Literally. God damn it. Oh my god. God damn it. Oh. God. What's a piece of information that you learned that feels illegal to know? Okay, this is literally like... I think that's the end of this video, because that this is like uh than the previous video type thing but anyways guys let me know what you think about this buffoonery um because that's literally what it is like p p the, p the people who are asking these questions like bruh <laughs> like this is crazy to me that like people literally ask these questions and they're dead ass like they're dead ass like yeah like um do they have like internet in germany like um like <laughs> like comment subscribe turn on those post notifications we post videos occasionally i'll see you guys soon take care and let me know what is the dumbest question an american has ever said to you asked you <laughs> dumbest thing an american has ever said to you peace